Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this episode, I'm going to build a big floating base. I'm going to make it look like a giant raft. The whole purpose of it is to make a base that's immune from the new... Uh, shit nuggets, what is his name? The worm. And I might start setting up a little small camp here. For reasons... So I'm just cutting down three trees to fill up this uh, log holder. So I need it for the initial placement of a simple stairs. It's so bright. I might try out a counter, a counter filter on my video to see how it actually looks with it on. Because M131, it's, uh, it's just a tad too bright during the day, but it's great at night. I should petition to the developers to add color grading to the PlayStation version. So that way you guys can have it on PlayStation. But I've never spoken to them, so <laughs> I don't have much luck I'd have with that. Oh, it's another turtle. I'm using up a lot of meat, so I need to stay on top of it. I wonder what happens. I haven't checked this in a while. Oh, it's placing sticks first. Don't want to do that. Build that. Build a water collector. Place that if I cancel it. Actually, I think it's been that way for a while. I just haven't tested it. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure this keeps things straight. We'll try it anyway. Let's place it just underneath the water so I can reach it and then I'll test it to see if it's too high or too low. Oh, you know a trick. And I don't know if this is legit or not. It's probably cheating or taking advantage of an exploit. Every time the enemy shop, if you save an exit, they'll disappear and they won't be back for a few days. Or a day at least. So they despawn. Okay, so that's done. Place that on there. And then place a, a turtle spawning right there. That's actually probably the perfect height because it would make it look like it's floating. My partner played this. Uh, used to play this with me before I started my channel. And... One time she seen a turtle and she swung at it and she killed it. And she's like, oh my God, you can clear all the turtles. She was so distraught about it. And then she just goes on a killing spree, killing all the turtles. She killed like five. Uh, women, man, try to understand them. You never will. So I can cancel that. And then I can just start building this out. There we go. I'm just going to keep building it out to see. Not completing any of this. It's just helping. I have a feeling... It's going up. So it's not exactly flat. What happens when I do that? Cancel this. Ah, crap. I have to get the blueprint out again. I had a sneaky suspicion this wasn't going to be flat. When I built that bridge, the first time I showed you how to do buildings with this stuff, it decided to go up. And I didn't realize how far up it went. I think that just went higher than before. Maybe it's going to go down for me this time. <laughs> Maybe by the time I get out there, we'll be out of the water. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's worth trying. I've never done this before. I should be doing my testing in creative mode first, but oh, I don't know. I think it's aiming down now. Okay, what I might do is that this is the area I want to build it in. But I'm going to have to move this. You're in the way, big bird. Get out of the water, man. Jesus. Oh, I'm such an amateur when it comes to that stuff. So place it like that. Should be really keeping an eye out for the shark. He's over there. It's not allowing me to place the blueprint with the boat in the way. But I need to keep it close because this shark is really close. It's on a freaking angle. How did that happen? It's supposed to be building straight. <laughs> How did the angle happen? i got no idea. Okay, so I don't think that method's going to work. I don't know why it's not coming out straight. So what we're going to do is reload. Okay, I'm back in. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do it from the ground up. I had a feeling the simple stairs wasn't the right fit. I knew it was going to do that. Changes the elevation of it. So I'm going to try and do it from down here. Problem is, it's getting the ground to be flat. And in which a lot of it isn't. Some of it here isn't too bad. I'll try that. Where the frick's a shark? Oh, got to get it. Eh, Jesus. My boat's really far away. So if he comes at me, there's a good chance he's going to get me. After he attacks, you've got a five second window, I think to get away but he can get you again okay so it's poking up above the water i don't want that and it's on a freaking angle why is this so hard <laughs> probably because i'm glitching oh go away don't come this way so maybe it doesn't point up it just naturally does it that's probably what it is okay it's getting quite close to shore but it's going to start getting steeper what i might do Cancel some of these. Freaking shark. Where'd he go? 
They despawn and respawn all the time. Yeah, see, it's on an angle. I wonder if, just if, I complete this one here. Ah, bugger. Cancel this one, and then that place is up. Clear a few of these. I wonder if it'd be easier to build it down. Oh, freaking shark, it scared the crap out of me. Ah, oh, I'm concentrating, man. Give me a break. Peni. So make it go under, like that. It's getting better. I don't know where the shark is. Oh, I can't get up there. Blocked it off. Now that's how it looks. If I switch to high ocean quality. Um, yeah, I might have to go one lower. There we go. All this is pretty much of a waste. Oh, David. Okay, I'm going to test this out in the morning because it's just getting too dark. I don't know where that shark is. But it adds a lot of fun, doesn't it? Just a little bit. Oh, it just started raining. Very useful. I don't need any of these, so I might cancel because I can't sleep yet. Yeah, I can't see absolute crap right now. It's all bubbles in the way. It's on a freaking angle again. <laughs> I just can't win. Okay, I'm awake. Drink, eat, fill these things up, which I can't. Freaking water collectors, man. On boats, always play up. I don't know where the shark is. Uh, looks like he's despawned for the moment. There we go. Where's all Farkas the shark is gone? So I'll build this one, place it under. Place that one under too. Don't need any of these. Now this is working out to be a, a lot more expensive than if I did it glitching, but I want it to be a realistic sort of base. Like it's, it's floating. Seems the more I build on it, the more it gets on an angle. It's so bizarre. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do for this one. I'm gonna clear this back end, it's sticking up in the air. Can't seem to clear it with a hole cutter. Yeah, I'm gonna lose strength doing this. Let's drink a soda, that'll keep me going. There we go. God, it really does go on an angle, doesn't it? I'm going to try and keep it even. There we go, then place it under, then over, then under, then over. The more I build on it, the more of an angle it goes on. And it seems to be pointing in the same direction. Need to figure out a way to overcome that. Last one. There we go. So, if I get the tree bridge out and then run it across. There we go. Then I can build on that. Same as the other side. I don't know where the shark is. He's probably right near me. No, he's not. Okay, so that was attached. Yep. Damn this angle thing. I've got to find a way to overcome that. I can't seem to clear these. I don't know why. Hole cutter's just not wanting to work. I need to eat if I want to clear them. Um, that'll do. This is going to take a while. There we go. Oh crap, the shark is right there. Uh, is he coming for me? Oh, he's heading my way, but he's not actually coming for me. Damn it. I just want to clear those things, eh? Oh, not a good place to fall in the water. Ah, oh, he got me just as I was getting out, you bastard. <laughs> I might have to kill you. Sorry, Farkas. You're pissing me off. It's actually filling up. Oh, don't fall in there with him. Which I just did. Yeah, here he comes. God, that was so close. Uh, one... I think I missed that one. That was a double shot. Eh, yeah, got him. <laughs> Little jump in the air and shoot him at the same time. I don't think he's going to give me back my arrows, though. Cancel these. He'll be back. As soon as I save an exit, he comes back. 
I have no idea how much these tree bridges are. 17 logs, that's quite pricey. Can I push my boat from here? Oh, I must have disabled it. Used to be able to push your boat from being underwater. There we go. That's one side done. There we go. I'm out of logs, so I'm going to have to do something and go and get some logs, but I can't drive this while I'm cold, otherwise you take cold damage. So weird. You're moving. You're pushing your arms and stuff, you know? So I'm constantly going to have to let go while moving this boat. To prevent me from taking cold damage. Okay, I slept, and I'm going to eat something. Might eat a bit because I'm going to go cut down some trees. So I reckon 2,400 calories should do it. Yeah, 2,400. Yeah, sweet. Okay, now. Time to get some trees. I'm going to cut a lot of this because it's really boring. Total shot. Jesus, it just won't stop raining. Okay. What I might do is turn my modern axe into a piece of crap by fully upgrading it with speed. There we go. So it's going to be swinging a lot faster, but um, it's not going to be very good in terms of doing damage. I've got a chainsaw at the moment, so uh, I'll do. Though this is good if you're trying to get away from the katana, if that's all you're used to fighting with. The katana swings really fast, so it doesn't do much damage. So it makes it hard to progress to weapons that do more damage, but it swings slower. There's a deer right there. Got him. <laughs> How hard it was to find your kind when I was making a warm suit. Ah! Better put my meat on here, eh? I always forget to do this stuff. There's another turtle here. Oh no, I can't get you while you're there. Oh, yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. I don't want to damage me crap. Where'd my spear go? You s swallowed it. Greedy turtle. Turtle stab. Oh, there's a flying head. So bright. Aha, I got you, you filthy little winged creature. Take this. Got you too. They have not shown up yet. I've been here for ages. It's usually they're always here. Oh, they're never here. Sometimes it's in between. Kitty, it's raining again. Jeez. I've seen games where it hasn't rained for 10 days. In this game, I'm playing right now, it's rained four times in the last 24 hours of the game day. Oh, another turtle chop. Alright, so I'm back. I'm going to finish this off very quickly. Don't need much more. That's done. Save. It's saying there's 10 logs somewhere. And I've got no idea. It's probably a bug. Okay, time to measure this up. Can I jump that? Not quite. I right, don't need to measure. It's too small. Doesn't even matter. So I'm going to do a little placement like that. Hmm. I wasn't doing that before. Okay, so that's working. I don't know why it took so bloody long to get that to work. Yeah, it's strange, this. Yeah, it's got to be a certain height. It can't be straight on the ground from it. So I'm just placing little triangle shaped uh, custom foundations. And they're just a little bit off the tree bridge. Now, I can't use that one because there's no board on it. It's too small. I need to have... The floorboard needs to be on it. Just a little bit. I'm going to replace that one. It's too tall. There we go. They're all floating. Sleep. And what I'm going to do first... Eat, drink. Ah, you gotta be able to see the poles coming through. I think that's the right height you gotta do it at. Uh, I'm fairly happy with that. So, this is a floating base without rocks. It's pretty good. I can jump and complete it though. There we go. I don't know where Sharky is. Now what I need to do is I need to save and reload because I need to figure out if those poles are going to extend down, which they might. Okay, so 
this is all completed because the recording cut off because I reached the maximum capacity of my hard drive that I was recording to. <laughs> I can't believe this is the first time it's ever actually happened. I've been recording in 4K resolution at 70 megabytes per second for over a year and this is the first time I actually ran out of space. And it was just because I've been recording a lot for this episode and I kept starting again. So I just got bombarded with too much footage and it took up too much space though this is how it turned out and i'm actually quite happy with it it looks quite messy but that's what i actually like about it it looks really messy but it actually suits it like it's a really rugged rough raft that you could build i don't know it's a shame that all this, these hogs are on their ankle that they're on but yeah i don't know i like it i i do i don't like the sort of gap in the middle of all this I don't like that look, it kind of looks a bit silly. But how it's joined, if I placed another one so it looked a little bit more realistic, I think it looked good. So yeah, I really like it. I usually don't like messy designs, but I think maybe this suits the game. Because it looks really messy. The only thing I wish I could do is stop these things from going on such a freaking angle when you're placing them. I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying. I couldn't stop it, I don't know why it was doing it. I think it's just part of the way it, the mechanics are for them. Because these things, the basic structures have been in the game since pretty much day dot. And they've never been that good in terms of placing and the mechanics. They don't work on procedural mechanics. It's really easy to get it up from the side. So that's good. And I can build whatever I want on this. So this is actually like a, a base. I can't place anything on here. I can't move it, obviously. Though this is what I wanted. A base that's protected from the worm. It's getting quite shallow here but i don't think he will be able to get it i don't think so if he could then i should have just built it back a bit further this ain't going to be a permanent base either like i'm just using this as a i guess a base for now it's small enough so i won't commit too much to it i don't know what i'm going to do for another project after this one though but um i still got to finish this one i want some ideas on what you would do to decorate this because it's just a big raft i'll put it uh so in comparison to the large raft, it's about twice the size of it. Wish you could do things like the little thing on top of it, you could make that. I could make stairs and I could probably make something. I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you think of it. This is just here as a little house on the boat. I wish I could purposely make things look rough like this. I tend to be, it's raining again. Oh my God. Anyway, I, I tend to be a bit too clean with my buildings and it kind of looks like unnatural. Whereas this looks a bit more natural, I think. I actually like that little clip on the side. Uh, I wish all the sides had it, but they don't because some of them are underneath it. It's just these two sides here and here. Uh, if you know a way to get the floors to stay straight, I'd like to know. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I thought this was going to look silly and it kind of does, but it actually looks quite cool at the same time having the wood up and down like this. I think this is actually a realistic design. I do. Because the amount of logs, that would float. That not, that being separated in the middle, not joined by anything, that's not realistic at all. I didn't cover too much about placement of this thing because I'm basing it that you've seen my previous videos on the basic walls, like the one going down the sinkhole, the bridge, and building the base over the sinkhole. Because as much as I'd love to repeat myself about the same mechanics in every video, I think it just takes up too much time. I want to give the information across as quickly as possible. So if you're unsure about these mechanics, watch the building uh, bridge one, bridge down to the sinkhole and the sinkhole base. They're worthwhile. You can do a lot of amazing things with these basic walls and stuff. It's really good. I have a feeling now that I've brought this, now I've started doing videos on this, End Night actually might do something. They'll probably will remove it. They'll, what they'll do is they'll, they'll make it that you can't build on tree bridges because they're always doing that to me for some reason. Every time I make a video on something like this, hey, come and change it. I don't know why, but I don't think it's personal, but it is rather annoying. But yeah, I've saved before this, so I've got no real reason to survive too much. Yeah, you got about five or ten second window. That'll take a while. I'm surprised he's not coming after me again. Maybe I'm just not close enough. Anyway, if you like this video, Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.